Here is one of my favorite questions that I found and I'm going to show you the real way on how to solve this. There is a much quicker strategy. So if you're looking for that, I did the same problem. Just hit the description box. I just thought it was fun. Anyways, check it out. The figure above shows a regular hexagon with side lengths A. So let's review what we know about a regular hexagon. In a regular hexagon, all your angles are congruent. All your sides are also congruent. And the last most important thing is that it produces six equilateral triangles in there that are all congruent just like that but we only need that red one right there the last given information that we have is that the area of the hexagon is 384 root 3 we are trying to find the area of this square which can be represented with the expression a squared to start this off we need the area of this little triangle right here and we could do that by just taking 384 root 3 divide that by 6 it's like we mentioned there's six equilateral triangles in there we're gonna need that value later Second thing, I'm gonna redraw this triangle so you can kind of see what's going on better. And the only thing we know about that is the dimensions of each side is A. Let's say I cut this triangle in half right through the middle. I draw my altitude. And since I cut that in half, then half of this length will be represented with one half A. So you could do this in two ways. You can recognize that since this was an equilateral triangle, this is gonna be 30 degrees if I cut that in half, which makes this into a 30, 60, 90. But if you don't know that relationship and you didn't see that, you can also use the Pythagorean theorem like this. Let's represent my height of this triangle as X. We're gonna write X in terms of A by using the Pythagorean theorem. Just take A squared, which is at my hypotenuse, and subtract in parentheses one half a squared one of my sides and that will give me the other side which is represented with x squared simplify that and you get a squared minus one fourth a squared equals x squared and this is actually like terms so a squared minus a fourth is the same as three fourths a squared equals x squared and to get x my height square root both sides we're going to take the positive answer because we're dealing with length that's going to be root three over two a equals x so now i got x in terms of a which is going to help us find a to solve for a let me redraw that triangle for you but instead of calling it x let's use this expression right here that's going to get me this triangle it's got a height of root 3 over 2a and it's got a base of a i'm going to pop that into the formula for the area of a triangle which equals one half base times height that's going to be one half my base is a my height is root 3 over 2a and i'm going to set that equal to the area that i found earlier which is 64 root 3. that's going to help me get a and then i can find the area of my square finally simplifying this we get square root of 3 over 4 a squared equals 64 root 3. multiply both sides by 4 that's going to cancel that out and then divide by square root of 3. that's going to cancel that out i'm going to be left with a squared equals root 3 is going to cancel 64 times 4 equals 256 but don't square root it don't square root it because a squared represents the area of your square which is answer choice a don't do this on the real test i just wanted to review all these topics because it was a cool problem make sure you subscribe and i'll see you on the next episode peace